It's a well-known fact that astronaut John Glenn became the first man to orbit the Earth in 1962. But you probably didn't know about the group of African-American women who made that and other NASA missions possible. They are called the Hidden Figures, the subject of a movie that comes out tomorrow, and they are the unknown heroes of NASA. But as Ginger Gadsden explains, that is all about to change. We're just on our way to work at NASA, sir. Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson. You probably don't know their names, but they are the hidden figures behind some of the earliest NASA projects. We have lift off. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. When I discovered that these incredible women existed, I was saddened because there was a universal understanding when I when I was coming up that math was for math and science was for boys. These three women were part of NASA's West Computing Unit, a group of African American women who were pioneers in the history of science, technology, engineering, and math. It was still uh, able to change the course of history, and how come? We didn't know that, and I became really angry because I felt like a dream had been stolen from me. Johnson, a mathematician and physicist, was personally asked by John Glenn to double check the electronic calculations for his mission aboard the Friendship 7. I have to do this movie. Not one girl should feel like how I felt. I mean, it's just crazy. <laughs> In a time where Jim Crow laws ruled the South. I think that these women uh, did not really think about race or gender until someone else made it a big issue. And then after it uh, started to get in the way of them pursuing their dreams and their goals, uh, that's when they, they had to uh, stand up for themselves. Monet portrays engineer Mary Jackson in the film, a woman who NASA historians say may very well have been the only black female aeronautical engineer in the field. They didn't have to open the doors to minorities in the 60s, but they did. They didn't have to allow women in positions of, of power uh, throughout the years, but they have. Dorothy Vaughn was hired by NASA in 1943 and became the first black supervisor. She led the West Area Computing Unit for nearly 10 years. That's where they calculated all the trajectories, return paths, and window launches to make space missions successful. The thing that struck me most is that he made a decision to put his life in the hands of an African-American woman. That was not a popular decision at the time. And if you can do that, you know, put aside your differences and believe in a person based on what they can contribute and how they contribute it, I mean, man, the, mankind, we, we, we will go beyond the stars again. Ginger Gadsden, News 6. It looks incredible. Oh. In 2015, Katherine Johnson was honored by President Obama with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She is now 98 years old. Mary Jackson died in 2005 and Dorothy Vaughn died in 2008. And we have much more of the stars interviews on our website. You can find them right now by heading to clickorlando.com powered by News 6 right on the home page. There are so many people talking about this movie that's coming out really nationwide. Yeah. But the fact that so much of this happened uh, pretty much in our backyard as well, you know, we have that it's close true. tie. So fascinating. Yeah, and, and the fact that it took so long for this to become widely known really? is unbelievable. Yeah.